Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. So, we are going to do our Venus signs. We are going to do Venus and Taurus first. Taurus season, Taurus season. Okay. Um, instead of the raw loves, we're going to do Venus and Taurus. Okay, so this is going to be for the next... Oh. Hmm. Early May, okay. Next couple weeks. Um, n next couple weeks, okay. Um, so Venus and Taurus. Oh, you know what? I really didn't want to use this deck, but I just grabbed it. This will drive me nuts. So that's what you're looking at. That will drive me nuts. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, anywho, don't ask me why, because normally I could care less about that, but, no, that's all popped up. Anywho, I don't know what's happening there. Venus and Taurus, that's, that's you guys right now, all right? Apparently, you got a little OCD. So, Messenger of Air, let's pull one. Ace of Earth. So, ooh, there was two in the Hangman. Okay, so, Messenger of Air, Ace of Earth, Hangman. So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to clarify with the Romance Angel cards. Venus and Taurus. Tell me about Messenger of Air. What is this Messenger of Air? Because I'm going to break it down that way. All right, you got Honeymoon. To me, this is travel. Okay, it's the way I read my cards. Um, and it could be water or it could be plain. That is, is travel. All right, it's a, it's a distance away. Could even be a foreign land because that's that's a lot of distance to me. Um, tell me about the Ace of Earth. I'm gonna get another one because I grabbed that and it didn't completely flip, but it's let your friends help you. But that's telling me it's it's like you're you're not. It's not the right type of friends like that card to me. I've explained this plenty of times, but for like newbies, okay. It's like, you got three. For my newbies, I read these cards in a very particular way, okay? I learned how to read cards with these, so some of them are opposite, okay? To me, it's someone's, you know, it's like you got a new start, but you're not taking a new opportunity. Somebody's friends is holding somebody back, and it's like you're going to have to make that decision on what's next for you, and there's a trust issue, you know, you, you got to trust that this new start is the right thing. But you, it looks like you have some friends that um, are not the greatest friends. Tell me about the hangman. You're in a sticky situation because my hands were just on my face. And I felt like I was the way it was pulling away, I could feel it. Like, sticky. Sticky, sticky. And I, I think this is like, this is Venus and Taurus, okay? But, like, I think you're linked to, like... An air sign or a Pisces. You got finances and Korea. So there's something going on. There's something at work. You, you hung up with something at work. Okay. Um, got love at the bottom of the deck. Six of cups. Give your relationship a chance at the bottom of this deck. So it's like... You're not trusting a situation. But I think what's happening is because you're not trusting a situation is because you're listening to your friends. Like, because there's, there's a message coming in that involves either travel or a trip you plan on taking with somebody. Because the soulmate was there, and it's like, you do want to give something a shot. Okay, so, like, I see that. But, like, maybe you can't try. There's something about money. Tell me about the money. To me, this is, like, money's getting involved or work, you know, where you make your money. Say it's friends at work, it's, it's co workers, it's, it's like whatever this is, it's like it's all linked. Tell me about career and finances. <clears throat> so, 
the queen of pence. So it's actually a good thing. Okay. Um, but you, you hung up. So I don't know if you didn't make a decision. So you got work and love, which would make sense. Okay. Because Venus is, is money, is beauty. There's something linked here with the past. But I will tell you, there is a situationship on the board where it's like, it is, you're not moving forward and it's because of who you're listening to. Or it's like, you're not listening to yourself. Your money seems good or it's, or you feel hung up or you're dealing with a boss that's just, you, you either feel hung, either, this can go either way. It's like your money is either really good or this is your boss and it's like you, you feel stuck at work, like you're not getting nowhere. Tell me about this messenger of air. <clears throat> Six of cups. So it's like you're going to get a message. <clears throat> and there's definitely distance between you and this person. It's clear as day on my board. <clears throat> it's the eight of pence. So it's like coming together, working together. <clears throat> wanting a new opportunity but there's distance so I don't know if the distance is bothering you if the distance is bothering somebody else but I, there is a situation ship here where there is and it could be linked to work but like you have an opportunity for a new stat it's either your friends or their friends that are interfering and it's like you're not trusting your own gut because you're looking right up like hey I know this person you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> he's looking at him and it's going around and it's like, there's your soulmate, there's somebody in the equation. It's like, give your relationship a chance so that there's someone in the picture. There's obviously some trust factors. It's either your friends or their friends. Okay. Um, I don't know if someone's not coming in because it's a work problem or work keeps them too busy. But it's like, somebody wants to work together with somebody. It's like, you're going to get a message, but I feel like you guys are definitely at a distance. But besides the distance, it's like, it's not the only problem. We got naysayers. And it's like, trust your own gut here. It's like you're being hung up. And you might even, your finances might even be dwindling. Because it's like, it's like that tower moment where other things in your life, you know, can cra crash down if you're not, if you're not <clears throat> putting every aspect in your life into a priority. You know, like, every aspect of your life. Taurus is like that too. It's beauty. It's, it's almost every aspect, you know. So, tell me about this new stat. Tell me about the Ace of Pence. To me, Pisces is Moon, but I feel like you're dealing with a Pisces Moon. It's something like that. Pisces something. Page of Wands. So yeah, it's a new opportunity, but it is, this opportunity is on hold right this second because somebody doesn't want to step out of their comfort zone. So it, this is linked to friends. Okay, tell me about let your friends help you. This is what's holding somebody back in a situation. <clears throat> Whether it's with the Taurus, you are a Taurus. This is the hang up. Yeah, see, two of cups. It's your friends. It's somebody's friends. It's outsiders. And they say is. That's a hold up for you guys. So not only is, is somebody like, oh, there's too much distance, it's like somebody also got friends here <clears throat> that are not that great, definitely not like-minded, that is for sure. So I don't know if your money's being hold up, held up, <clears throat> or if like, it's like you just, you got to change your perspective, which is, which is hard to do because it's like you obviously care about what your friends think, but at the same time, it's like, it's it's not what's best for you. <clears throat> you know what's best for you. There's a beautiful connection here. Tell me about the hangman. <clears throat> oh, something flipped. It was already flipped. And I noticed it. It was with the two of cups. I don't know what it is. But I noticed it. I noticed it. What are you? Let me see if I can just see it. There it is. Oh, dang. Ten of cups. <laughs> Hello. All right. It, this other person might actually have a family. You might be dealing with somebody who's got a family. And to you, it's like, 
how am I going to play this role? How, how are we all going to do this? Like, there's definitely beauty, love, work here, okay? Um, I don't know if you're doing something new, they're doing something new, somebody wants to do something new. You have a beautiful new start, but because you're not changing your perspective and, and going after it and being adventurous, whether this is you or the other person, it's, that's the hold up, okay? Um, tell me about the hangman. So I guess your finances are good, or your there's a or it's a feminine energy that's good. Um, this is your karma, all right. So it's like this is break free from something. To me, it looks like outsiders. What other people are gonna think, you know? Um, but it's like what this is saying too is your karma, but it's been sitting with for you for too long. Like put it to rest. Put it to rest, whatever this is, because there's a beautiful connection that's not coming together. And it's because of it's exterior energy. Okay. Um, so let's find out what your lesson is. Venus and Taurus. <clears throat> this is either your lesson or the other person's lesson. Venus and Taurus. <clears throat> Gratitude. All right. Being thankful for certain opportunities that are going to be presented. And it's like whomever you're dealing with is not looking at this opportunity or you is not looking at this opportunity like it's a great opportunity because you're too busy listening to outsiders or your person is too busy listening to outsiders and it's like they don't appreciate what they have in front of them and it's like it's like wow wow because it's like this is what they can have or this is what's literally in front of them and it's like what are you doing what are you doing so it's like hung up until this person can can like I guess the two sides of a situation because empathy is at the bottom. So it's like you could be dealing with an, and that's not even like that. It, it's like they don't want to see two, two sides of a situation. Okay. So let's find out what's next. What's next for Venus and Taurus? <clears throat> I just feel like if you're, what this is saying too, is like, I don't know if you're waiting on a connection, if you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what you're doing here because there's a holdup. So I suggest if you're Venus and Taurus and there's this outside connection, but yeah, it's not presented to you, just make sure you continue to push through. Okay. What's next? The 10 of air. All right. It's the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and accept things. Okay. And it's also recovering from an addiction. So this is either for you or the other person, but it is, it is coming out of a difficult situation. It is laying something to, to rest, okay? So, but as of right now, there is a holdup because somebody is listening to, to naysayers and instead of trusting their own gut, all right? And, but it's like, they know they have this. So it's like, I don't know what went down between you guys, but it's, it's almost like they don't appreciate it. It's... It's like they do. I, I think you're going to get that message. You know, it's just a matter of time because there's a message coming in, but somebody's at a distance and it, it really bothers that person. So I don't know if somebody travels for work, you know, and it's hard for you guys to travel on your relate to work on your relationship. Um, that could be a possibility. Tell me about, I was going to say this, Eight of Pence, but whatever this is, wanted to make an appearance. The Magician. <clears throat> Tell me about the Eight of Pence. That's all about creation, having the tools to succeed, fresh, fresh starts, high priestess. So it's like, I don't know, it's either you or this other person that's not using their intuition or they secretly want to work with you and they secretly want to go on an adventure with a feminine energy, but yet nothing's coming in. So if you have Venus and Taurus and this doesn't sound like you, it's, it, it's got to be the other person when it comes to, to work or love, okay? That's how you got to read these. <clears throat> but what's next is the end of a difficult situation. So it does look like there is going to be some type of message from somebody that, you know, lives at a distance. <clears throat> or it's like you guys are already in a relationship and it's like there's distance between you because of work or, or travel or somebody spending too much time with friends versus, you know, tending to the household, to the family. But to me, this is, you know, you're in a lesson of, you know, being thankful for the opportunities that are presented. And I mean, it's like that new start, that ace, that new start, 
is this? You go from the 10 to the, the 2 to the 10. It's like you jump. Like, it's like, whoa. That is, whoa. <clears throat> All right. But it does look like, you know, I say, I was going to say by Memorial Day, it looks like this situation ship's going to come in before Memorial Day. So to me, I guess this read is going to go to Memorial Day weekend. Well, no, it's not part of Memorial Day weekend. It could be. Oh, this person can be part of your Memorial Day weekend plans, okay? But um, this energy is right before then. So let's just say to like the 23rd, because I believe Memorial Day is the 24th. So like the 20th, I guess. Now to the 20th. All right. I love you guys. Have a fantastic time period. <laughs> Bye, guys.